for sale for $15 million. The latest from podnews.net with supporting cast where you own the listener relationship. A profitable podcast is for sale for $15.5 million. The website doesn't give its name but gives a lot of detail. With five staff, it makes more than $100,000 in profit every month. We think we know who it is. We link to it in our show notes and our newsletter at podnews.net. And if we're right, we thank the host for being a personal supporter of Podnews since November 2019. And you can too at podnews.net slash support. Podcast hosting and analytics platform Captivate has launched a new membership and tipping product, allowing podcasters to launch subscriptions and receive income directly from listeners. The company also launched the Captivate Creator Suite, a toolkit that brings together Captivate's market-leading workflow and revenue tools. A new podcast search experience in Google is being rolled out in the US. Users on mobile who search for generic terms like kids' podcasts or news podcasts now get individual podcast cards, which when clicked on, include links to players, Google Podcasts, Spotify and Apple Podcasts. The podcast pages also contain recent episode titles and links to Apple Podcasts appear on Android too. The search experience doesn't, though, contain any podcast links to YouTube. The Pod News Weekly Review, the last word in podcasting news, will also be the last word on the Amplify Theatre stage at the podcast show in London next week. You can watch the show go out live with Sam Sethi and me with guests and a look back at the news Thursday, May the 25th at 4.15 in the afternoon. Also, join me for the first keynote of the event in the Amplify Theatre on Wednesday, May the 24th at 9am. Be early. For tickets, use code PODNEWS on the website for a discount, thepodcastshowlondon.com. Ahead of the podcast show in London next week, The Guardian, The FT, The Economist, News UK and Tortoise have joined Acast's launch of Publishers in Podcasting, a consortium dedicated to advancing the podcast industry, promoting trusted audio journalism and encouraging healthy debate. The announcement also talks about developing standards. Podcast service Recordical has published a report about podcast creators. The survey, which had 648 unweighted respondents in the US, suggests that podcast creators are skewed male, white and young. Edison Research released the top 50 podcasts in the US over the past six months. New entries in the top 10 are Smartless and Dateline NBC. The Dubai Podfest was held yesterday. One of the speakers was Michelle Cobb, Executive Director of the Podcast Academy. And the number of daily podcast episodes about AI has increased by more than 500% on Spotify in the last 30 days. That's according to Spotify CEO Daniel Ek. In People News, Teresa Elliott has been hired as the new Chief Revenue Officer at Ad Results Media. She'd been at Spotify for eight years, and we link to a Q&A with founder Kurt Kofer. And Chris Hill is to leave the Motley Fool Money podcast and radio show. He leaves the company after 26 years and has hosted the show since February 2009. In podcast news, We Can Be Weirdos is new today from Dan Schreiber, co-host of the No Such Thing as a Fish podcast. In this new show, he meets an intriguing lineup of anything but normal guests like the Monster Hunter, who's lived on the banks of Loch Ness for three decades. And in the first episode, a world-renowned neuroscientist who has discovered a cure for chronic pain. Freeway Phantom is a brand new true crime series from Tenderfoot TV and iHeart Podcasts. Journalist and public radio veteran Celeste Headley looks at the unsolved murders of six black girls whose bodies were found dumped by the side of DC freeways. Who was the Freeway Phantom? Why didn't the murders make the news headlines? And what new evidence is there which might open the case once more? In the Room with Peter Bergen is the first ever podcast from the CNN National Security Analyst and was launched yesterday. It's also the first weekly podcast from Audible available across all platforms. Alison Craiglow, formerly of Freakonomics Radio, is executive producer of the show for Fresh Produce Media. Doha Debates podcast is new this week, exploring questions like does having money make you happy? Are some sports too violent for children? And is it time to delete all our social media apps? The show is a co-production of Doha Debates and FP Studios, the podcast production arm of Foreign Policy magazine. 
The North American bird population has declined by nearly 3 billion birds since 1970. Bring Birds Back returns for a new season today. The show is hosted by Tanija Hamilton, who interviews experts and bird enthusiasts to help us understand how we can all help birds through simple, everyday actions. And if you're looking for new shows to listen to, new podcast trailers lets you hear trailers from all kinds of new shows every day right in your podcast app. It's from your friends at Pod News, and you can find it by searching new podcast trailers wherever you get your podcasts. This podcast is sponsored by Supporting Cast. Don't sell a Patreon, sell your own subscription. Supporting Cast is completely white labeled, so your brand is always front and center. And with Supporting Cast, you own the listener relationship. Learn more at supportingcast.fm. And that's the latest from our newsletter. To read all the stories and subscribe, we're at podnews.net. 